everyone. Good to see you. Erin, I want to start with you. Uh, you're a viral video creator with over 5 million followers on TikTok alone. <laughs> That's a lot of people. Yes. Um, and you've been doing this for a little while. How long have you been doing this for? I've been making content now for just about three years. For about, that's not a long no, time. <laughs> so that's really interesting. Tell me about what you're about. What is your what is your, your platforms about? Yeah, so I started out by making what do you do for a living videos, going up to people's mansions and knocking on their door and asking them that specific question. I would also sometimes tour their homes. Yeah. Since then, I've branched out more into long form content. And now what I'm popularly known for and what I do regularly is travel around the world, learning and meeting from multimillionaires and spotlighting their career, their um, how they got where they're at and mm -hmm. all things of that nature. Well, obviously, it, just taking a look at all of their luxurious lifestyle, cars, houses, all that stuff. Okay, let's look at one of these videos with Aaron. Knocking on millionaires' doors. Hi there, sorry for disturbing you, sir. The house is incredible. What do you do for a living? Um, actually, I sell air fresheners. That is yeah. incredible. Is there any chance that you could let me inside? I'd love to see your house. Um, actually, you said no, but if you want, I can take you to the backyard. Yeah, I'd love to check in the back here. Yeah, let's do it. I like watching you knock on people's door and the, and 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 them saying, "Yeah, come on in." Yeah. <laughs> Were you surprised at how much that happened? Uh, it happened more as I continued to do it more. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Because they're like, "This guy's not casing the joint." Yes. <laughs> he's got he's got a legit page, and you're, it, it was curiosity. Definitely. Which is cool about it. Okay, so very very cool way to start, Dom. I want to talk to you a little bit about how you got started uh, as an influencer. So I was working a corporate job, and my husband my husband was traveling a lot and he'd go on these three month long missions and I didn't know what to do with myself at home alone and he's like, why don't you start a blog? You're always doing fun fashion beauty things. I was going to fashion shows and whatever and he's like, why don't you highlight that? And that's how I got started. Um, about three months in, I covered the grand opening of the Nordstrom, which was the first one in to open in Canada, where, in Ottawa, where I live, and that went viral. And then brands took notice and uh, it just took off from there and it really filled my heart it truly became my passion that's so cool yeah Mo we knew you as working yeah. in corporate when you yes. started on City Line and City mm -hmm. Line was sort of the side hustle and yes. then at some point you decided to leave and pursue content creation full-time yeah um, how tough was it to make that decision uh, it was tough to make the decision actually it was years in the making because I came from a background you can probably also uh, identify with that that you know the parents you know they want you in something stable yes. you know you have kids you have a house so you want something stable with something consistently coming in right yes. and so these hobbies hobbies that you have you just don't know right if you can monetize them and mm -hmm. so it got to a point where my husband said hey you got to do this. Really? Yeah, he it's was always like the, the husbands are the hype yeah, man here. He Mine too. Win. Like him, my entire friend circle, my tribe, they were like, do it, do it, do it. And yeah. so then I finally, you know, trusted myself and I decided to take the jump last year. Very interesting. Uh, and I can very much relate with the West Indian parents who still don't know why there's a Hyundai Palisade in their driveway <laughs> when I go to their house. Like, I work with them. I know I host a show, but I also work with them. They're like, we we don't get it. Right. So um, I want to talk a little bit about people getting it. Like, do you have people other than your significant others and your tribe? Like, were there people, Aaron, that looked at what you were doing and said, like, what are you doing and why are you doing that? Uh, my circumstance was a little bit unique because when I started, I didn't really have a lot of other options. I, all my other sources of income were just completely limited by COVID. So I had to do something. I was very much back against the wall. And I had done my research into a concept that had a lot of potential. And on the first video I ever created, I got 500,000 views. So I had naysayers, but there was not a lot for them to talk about because, I mean, like, by the third video, I had, like, 30 million views. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so you were, insane. like, uh, showing them the money, honey, right? Yeah, right away. I mean, there was no money in the beginning. <laughs> which How is, long was there no money for? Uh, I was probably about eight months. I was getting millions and millions of views and yeah. not making a dime and driving myself into debt. My rent was way past due. I knew I would eventually make money, but... It was a long time. <laughs> I just kept doing it. But the views were there. How, so it how was did a, that start to turn around, though? Um, I started to get some brand offers here and there, some small brand deals in the beginning. And I had no idea what to negotiate for in the beginning. So I, I think I was very underpaid on some of those small brand deals. Yeah. But it wasn't until I got an offer from Snapchat to make a show on their network mm. that completely changed everything. Um, and uh, the distribution was great. The payment was great. And I'm uh, still doing it to this day. 
Okay, Dom, can we talk money a yeah. bit? Like, what, what are we talking about in terms of range? Because I want for all of the kids out there saying, I want to be an influencer when I grow up, and all the parents saying, like, could you go read your book? Yeah. <laughs> so um, I want them to know, is this legit? I think this is so important that we're having this discussion because, yeah. especially as women, we're taught not to talk about money, and it is so important to know your worth, especially as an influencer. Mm -hmm. So it is, I can't remember the date today, it is April whatever, mm -hmm. but I'm about to clear $70,000 this month. Mm -hmm. um, this month? This month. And uh, is that normal? Is that yes? We can clap. Uh, <laughs> we can clap for that. Is seventy so, k a month normal? Uh, that isn't normal for okay. me, but it's normal for this year for okay. me. Okay. I've, uh, I don't know. I've seemed to have turned some sort of corner. Yeah. I've signed many large brand partnerships this yeah. year, and I have a talent manager who really opened my eyes and really showed me my worth, and she negotiates all of my brand deals, and when she found me, I was charging $100 an Instagram post, and brands were hard-pressed to pay that, mm -hmm. and now she just goes all out to ensure that I am getting exactly what I should be paid, yeah. and that in encompasses the user-generated content that I make for brands, where I don't even have to post that on my own channels, yep. to brand partnerships that we have, and um, exclusivity, whitelisting, all of mm -hmm. those important things that influencers should be charging for. So um, not only ha has this become my passion and, and filled me with such joy, it's also really boosted my confidence. Um, I'm able to do things that I never dreamt I could do before. Mm -hmm. While my parents gave us everything that they could growing up, we didn't have much. Yeah. And uh, now it's really nice to be able to make all of this money and sort of return the favor to them. That's beautiful. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm loving it. Yeah, I like that. I like being able to spoil parents. I think that's a yes. beautiful <laughs> way. That's, that's the way it should work. Work, right? Yes. They were there for us, now we're there for them. Can we talk about money? Like, yeah. can you give me sort of a range? Because it's going to be different for every package that yeah. is sold. There's a lot of things that come at play when it comes to brand deals and in terms of, you know, do they want posts, do they want stories, do they want reels, etc. like things like that. So, but what I can say is when I was making that decision to leave my full-time job, I had made with doing, still working a full time and mm -hmm. doing the content creation with about 20,000 followers, I still made over $250,000. For the year? For the year. With 20,000 followers? 20,000 followers. So there's, yes, there's something to think about there. You don't have to be, you don't have to have 100,000 plus followers to be making, yes. you have to have an engaged audience. Engaged audience and yes. community. And, and I know a lot of people want to go viral and yes. just, the community may not necessarily be there. Yeah. And when you want brand deals, the brands want you to have a community yeah because then they that's where the trust is built right and when you are, are showcasing a brand that you trust then your community will trust you right have we talked money yet Aaron no but so <laughs> do you mind yeah, throwing I, out a figure like maybe an annual income yeah um, I would say after my first like eight months of not being really revenue or generating yeah my first like year of making money I made over a million dollars that year a million yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I work 10 hours a day almost every single day of the week, and my okay. fiance, who's just off screen right now, she's yeah. in the back, she works with me right side by side. Okay, so you're working a lot of hours, yeah. but still a million a year, probably and I have a team worth as it. Well. It's not like, I wouldn't, that's revenue for sure, yes. but profit is high up there. That was first year, yeah. and second and now third year has been more each year compounded. Amazing. Yeah. So you're doing what you love and you're making money. You're So you, what you are doing is actually valued, and I really thank yeah. you all for uh, being so open. We don't often talk about hard hard, solid numbers on the show. So thank you for that, and congratulations to you all. You're thriving. Yeah.